<laughs> turn. Oh, uh, it is flipped. Yes. Uh, but it should be okay. I mean, I can see you. I mean, that's this is my right arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's probably imaging it. So, uh, I yeah, mean, just mirroring. as long as you know, if nobody's anal about the yin and yang or something. Yeah, yeah. it's not upside down. That's it's all right. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, one second. Okay, we'll have a promo, brief promo. Okay. Hi, welcome to Lifestyle with Dr. Moby. I'm Dr. Moby, and today we have amazing guest from Florida. Let's welcome. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you, Mr. Excellent. Daniel? How are you? Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for coming to our show. And so, my listeners would like to know more about uh, you. So, go ahead and you can tell me what do you do. Well, let's see if I can squeeze it all in, into this time. Um, I do a healing art called bioenergy healing. It was uh, developed in uh, Eastern Europe many years ago. My teacher is still active. He has healed over a million and a half people up to date with this method. Mm -hmm. um, you can imagine after about a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, you kind of figure out what works and what doesn't. <laughs> and essentially, he developed a system that is uh, very simple and very effective. And in essence, anybody can uh, learn it. Now, after 30 some years of, of practicing, I realized that there are some easier ways and faster ways to getting there. And I can literally teach anybody in minutes how to become healers. Now, we're not talking about some, uh, um, how should I say, off the grid, uh, uh, some woo woo art. It's a uh, very scientific. I try to explain everything through quantum physics and uh, literally show that, that anybody can become a healer. When I started, there was no, no literature on it. I, I, um, I was born and raised in Yugoslavia in a Hungarian family. I actually finished engineering in college, which has nothing to do with this. However, about halfway through my schooling, um, friend of my dad's introduced me to a sort of energy healing. He was um, amateur at the time, but was able to show me how to feel the energy, which I realized that I felt my whole life. And uh, it put me on a different track. First, I would just stop some, some pain. And I really didn't know what I was doing. There was, uh, you know, no, nothing, nothing on it in literature, except for Far Eastern philosophy and medicine. But uh, energy healing itself was still in, in baby shoes, to, to say so. Even though it's the, the original, the first, first healing method ever, you know, putting your hand on the painful spot or your partner's painful spot. So <clears throat> it's really your, your instinct, uh, essentially. Now, and, and yeah, looking at your uh, website and you have explained, you know, what, what is bioenergy healing? Yes. And uh, what is bioenergy? And so, and how come our body can communicate with, with uh, outside? You know, so so what you're suggesting is there's a lot of untapped energy outside. Um, oh, all we, right? Yes. You you if you think about it, our brains can process maybe. 0.001 percent of all the information that passes through us mm -hmm. right now you and i uh, would experience thousands of, of radio waves coming through us if we could if we could feel it right yeah so certain things we pick up certain we don't there are there are certain colors we don't see but some bugs will uh or butterflies or bees or so on um 
we only have a certain certain amount of, of perception. But we can learn to go beyond that. Just mm -hmm. like when you, you think of somebody and the phone rings and that, that person is on the other line, right? Or you get the text message from that person. Somehow mm -hmm. we're all interconnected on, on this entire planet. Mm -hmm. And through quantum physics and, and uh, vibration theories, we can explain that quite plainly and uh, uh, understandably. So, you know, that part we can put aside and concentrate on actually learning to feel this. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter was two years old when she was able to stop other people's pain without knowing what she was doing, mm -hmm. just mimicking my movements. You know, mm -hmm. for kids, it's normal. But as adults, we learned that, oh, if something hurts, we have to take a pill. Mm -hmm. Or if this, then these are the consequences. And uh, uh, so it's, it's really about re-educating uh, uh, people how how they can tap into this this source themselves mm -hmm. you know the best doctor is right here we have the best instruments inside mm -hmm. but we don't know how to how to use it so this is this is about that mm -hmm. uh, when you when you look at just the human body let's not think about anything else mm -hmm. we appear to be solid right I mean a little bit flexible but but solid mm -hmm. but we know that 70 percent of this is water now inside that water we know that it's made of molecules so mm -hmm. if we tap go deep inside already on that level we would be more gases than solid go deep inside those gases and find the find the atoms and that's where you realize that really everything is energy now we learned the atomic structure in school right just yeah. like we learned about the solar system in school. We had the teacher's desk. There was a little model of the solar system. But it's not up to scale. Mm. If it were up to scale, we would need several counties to, to stretch out that model to, to see it up to scale. So if you would, if you would shrink the sun to, to the size of a, you know, a marble, then Pluto would be a mile away or a mile and a half away, and it would be the size of a bacteria. Nothing between here to there, no strings, just that, that gravity holding it together, right? In the atom, uh, it's very similar, maybe a little bit crazier. If we could magnify the nucleus of the atom, which is positively charged, to the size of a pinhead, stick it in the middle of a stadium, the closest electron would be somewhere in the bleachers or outside the stadium. And again, it would be the size that we could not perceive if it's just dense energy. Mm -hmm. It would go so fast. They're very frisky. You know, they, they go so fast around this, this nucleus that to us, if we could see it, it would appear to be a ball, ball the size of the stadium. Yet deep inside, there's nothing. 99.999% empty uh, space. Now you put together one... Uh, atom like that with another one, another one, one may be missing an electron, another one has extra. So eventually you put together this, but deep inside 99.9999999% of this is empty space. And so with the air, we know we can't live without it, but we can't see it, we can't grasp it, right? So the energy has a, a similar quality, we can't really see it. We can if we pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. um, we can feel it if we can if we pay attention to it. it. It takes no time to learn how to do it. As a matter of fact, we can do it right now if you're up for it. Sure. The quick, you know, everybody would like to feel the energy field. Yeah, yeah. Let's feel it. It goes roughly as far as you can reach. It's like an energy shield around you. Think about the the enterprise, you know, spaceship. The thicker the shield, the better protection. Right. Mm -hmm. The issues happen when there's too little energy in some area or too much energy in another area. It disrupts the, the proper energy flow, which basically goes up in the front, goes down in the back. So kind of like half of, a, of the Earth's magnetic field in a way. So the, in, in bioenergy healing, we recognize these imbalances wherever you have too much or too little. And by 
taking energy off or adding, we put it back in balance and also jumpstart the, the energy flow, giving the body back its natural environment where it is able to heal itself. It's a natural thing. It's not the band-aid that heals your cut, right? Mm -hmm. So the first step is of course to recognize the energy and then to feel the energy, although you can still learn to heal even without learning to feel it or see it. That's another beauty in, in uh, this system. But of course, everybody would like to, to experience it. So first, let's, let's try what happens when there's no energy flow. Mm. So put your arms up straight and relax your fingers. Let them hang. Mm. Nothing happening. Mm. If you extend your fingers straight. Mm -hmm. You'll feel a little tension in, in your, in your mm. fingers and your hand, right? Yeah. This is how you open the energy gates. This is relaxed. Nothing happens. If I put my hand on your shoulder like this, you may feel the warmth of my hand, but if I tighten it up, you will feel the energy flow. Mm. So with this tightness, visualize holding a basketball. Mm -hmm. It will take only a quick second. When you think you have it, squeeze the ball by pressing your palms closer by an inch and then let it back. And just like that, back and forth. So your arms are kind of relaxed, but your hands, uh, fingers, a little bit tense. Mm. You may feel a little bit of, of resistance as if there were a ball. Kind yeah. Of, you know, yeah. Mm. Now, you may also feel this magnetic resistance. Mm. Have you ever played with magnets? And you try yeah. to do yeah. that. Yeah, it looks like me. Work me. your way a little bit closer and you'll feel a little bit more of that. Maybe a little heat, maybe a little tingling. Now, stop for a second. Just mm -hmm. hold it there. Now, hands flat, fingers straight. You may feel more of that of that heat between your hands. And of mm -hmm. course, also, if you move your fingers just a little bit like this, mm -hmm. you'll feel as if your knuckles needed lubrication, right? Mm -hmm. A little squeaky. Mm -hmm. Also, if you start s slow, small circles, I'll show you sideways. Mm -hmm. You may feel the center of that rotation, just like when you play with the magnets that you can't push together. Yeah, you can feel it. There's a path your hands want to follow. Yeah, it's perfect circle going around the middle of your. In palm. the center, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you stop for a moment mm -hmm. and slowly pull your hands apart. Mm -hmm. you'll feel resistance to that motion as well. Yeah. Because the magnet is also on the other side. Yeah. You know, your, the energy is on both both sides. Yeah. And now you can play with the bigger ball, you know, make it, make it much larger. Mm -hmm. And you may feel it even sooner. Now, somewhere along the way, there's a sweet spot where you will feel it the most. Yeah. Practice uh, that way. Uh -huh. you know, I mean, technically, every day you want to just grab the ball and, and feel it a little bit. Yeah. Bring it up to your face, for instance. Mm -hmm. Do these motions as if you were washing your face. Mm -hmm. As long as your fingers are slightly tense, mm -hmm. you will feel a little heat in your face from your hand mm -hmm. or heat in your hand from your face. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sensation in both ends. Mm -hmm. Now think about a headache as too much energy accumulated around your head. Most mm -hmm. of the time with, with today's uh, uh, society, everybody holding a cell phone, looking down, the neck gets a little bit of a, a tension, a little bit of imbalance. Not all the energy can flow through and too much generates around your head. So if you continue with this exercise, mm -hmm. pull that excess energy off the back and shake your hands off mm -hmm. and continue covering the entire head or especially the headache area mm -hmm. in a few moves but within a few minutes max you can stop mm -hmm. your own headache mm -hmm. oh wow yeah um, yes. it is easier to stop other people's headache and pain because of that potential difference in the energy but you can learn to do your own now, there are other techniques, you know, where you go a little bit deeper into this and, and uh, uh, at, at a higher level of, of expertise. 
you don't really have to do any movements. You just, you know, close your eyes or not even that. And you can face yourself or others the same way. As a matter of fact, I 80% of my of my work is uh, long distance. Um, I have uh, I worked on one person live today. And, wow. And uh, 12 people long distance. Very nice. Very nice. So, uh, yes. And kind of I always did that. But thanks to the pandemic, uh, uh, it went into that. Uh, direction mainly <laughs> so yeah so i see some of these uh you do you have uh, of course you have your books yes and also these are some of the if people can visit your website and this is mm -hmm. the long distance healing uh, you have this uh my home course you have these and uh, a bit tai chi also and mm -hmm. some of these uh, which we talked today a little bit essentials and same day service as well as long distance and then you have your uh, healing right so mm -hmm. okay. I, I look at the the seminar and and uh, or lecture and seminar uh, yeah yeah find uh, other options of, of teaching uh -huh. um, every year I do at least one or two seminars in Europe. Uh, this July, we will do one in the Austrian Alps. It, it will be awesome. It's a one week of, of fully immersing into self-healing and learning to heal others, uh, full of uh, meditation, Tai Chi in the morning. Um, that's the place where we're staying, except it's going to be all green. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yes. Our host is a former uh, Olympic skier, alpine skier. Mm -hmm. He built a beautiful hotel, beautiful apartments. And everything is just ultra green, the, the, really the most beautiful part uh, of the Alps. So uh, that will be the summit this year. We do have some space open still if anybody's interested in that. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, uh, uh, my book teaches the same method. And the newest is uh, you have snippets there of my latest videos. Um, I, I uh, made an online school uh, seminar. It's uh, seven videos. First two are free. You can check it out, see if this is something for you. It's uh, full of special effects to show what you will actually see and, and feel. Um, and pretty much every detail of, of this energy healing method. You see this big guy uh, yeah. bending over. Um, many people uh, learn psychokinesis as well, moving individuals without touching them. As a matter of fact, that's what put me on, on this this whole uh, uh, track, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I was still an amateur when uh, my mom's back was hurting. Wow. I had no idea what I was doing. And I was kind of visualizing that I was pulling out pain from her back, mm -hmm. excess energy. And as I was pulling my hand, my mom started leaning back. Mm -hmm. I said, what the heck? I pushed my hand forward. My mom goes forward. And pull it back. My mom goes back. And I was like, Mom, what are you doing? She says, Nothing. What are you doing? I said, I don't know. What the heck's happening? So I told my buddies what happened that same night uh, in a pub. And uh, uh, what happened next, of course, the teasing. And yeah, right. You know, nobody can do that. Mm -hmm. So we made bets. And by the end of the, the night, the whole pub was in it. You know, I mean, making bets in beer, who's going to move and who's not. I realized I could move people without touching them. Mm. Now, what do you do with that? <laughs> you know? mm. And then two weeks later, I saw this guy on TV. Um, they were showing they were showing him bending people, moving people. He was a, a big healer in Croatia. And that the aerial view from the small island, they were showing how uh, uh, people were snaking through these small streets trying to get to see him. Mm -hmm. um, I tried getting in touch with him. This was in the 80s. And of course, I couldn't. I got in touch with the hotel on the island. They said, well, we moved away. Anyway, two weeks later, a buddy of mine comes over with an article about a professor in Belgrade who was measuring the energy fields. And um, I was able to get in. Two days of testing, you know, they, they can measure anything in your body. 
that you can measure in a radio or a TV set. You have amps, ohms, volts, and then he would compare everything to uh, uh, famous healers and draw conclusions. And he said, hey, you know, you, you should really change professions. You know, you were born to be a healer. So I agree. But the one person I would learn from, I can't find. Long story short, he takes me over to the next town and introduces me to uh, Mr. Zdenko Domacic, the guy who was on the island and that I saw on TV. And uh, I learned from him how to, you know, confidently do everything I was already doing. And he showed me little details and uh, eventually worked with him a little bit. And then I ended up in the States. Uh, mm -hmm. He's still active in Slovenia. If anybody wants to look him up, um, it's just uh, an amazing healing method. So everybody who wants to learn this, they can skip 30 years of guessing and you know, get straight on how to feel it, how to you know do the whole thing. You can learn the entire psychokinesis. Uh, it's, it's an amazing experience, uh, kind of freaky when you, when you feel it the first time as if a magnet was pushing you or pulling you. Um, I've done it at demonstrations even with uh, over 100 people at the same time, uh, which is, again, another uh, cool experience. But my, my overall goal is really, you know, I'm, I know that I'm limited with how many people I can help directly. Yeah. But indirectly, they can all learn how to do this. And yeah. they can help so many people themselves. And, and of course, they can help themselves, which is uh, yeah, yeah, sure. quite important. What? There are a lot of misconceptions in, in uh, today's world because, I mean, we're bombarded with information constantly. If you mm -hmm. go through just the, the food pyramid, you know, the changes it went through. Uh, this is bad for you. No, this is good for you. Now it's bad for you. Back and forth. However, the information is there. It's available to, to everyone. I mean, we have, we have uh, uh, abilities to, to find out anything today. Just really anything. You don't have to walk to the library or, or any of that. Just yeah. uh, it's all about focus, right? Okay. Well, thank you. It was a great learning and seeing uh, some of these techniques and there is a lot of more to learn. This is too short of, uh, you need actually, we need a seminar with you actually. Today. Absolutely. And and thank yeah, you. But, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll definitely arrange one of those and I'll talk to you on that. So thank you for coming. Any final message you have for my listeners and then uh, we have everybody check out your website which i put it down here c uh, cs uh, uh yeah. they can check out all your programs and so forth any final thoughts you have absolutely uh positive thinking is the key to everything mm -hmm. uh there is absolutely no reason uh, to stress out unless the lion is chasing you um it's all matter of perspective so stay positive uh if you know the laws of physics everything has positive and negative particles right or the yin and yang or whichever way you look at it no matter what happens to you that you think is negative there's something positive attached to it wow yeah and that is true there's ne never a single pole so it is yeah. always bipolar well thank you for once again take care and uh We'll definitely chat with you for future programs. Take it. Thank you for having me. Take care. <laughs>